Jake! Stop playing that video game and do your homework, now! But Mom, I'm just about to beat Ganon. <coughs> hey, Miranda, how are you? I'm about to lose it! My son's reading is still so bad, I can't believe it. Oh no. He's been struggling with reading for years, and no matter how much tutoring he gets, it seems like he's not making any progress. His reading scores are still so low. I get it. I've been there. Plus, that makes all his other classes hard. Seems like it's just FFF. I'm at my wit's end, and I've decided to take away all of his video games. Hey, sis. I understand how you feel. My son struggled with reading too. I remember how frustrated I was. Constantly practicing, make a little progress. And then he just seemed to backslide. He's much better now. Loves to read and his grades have improved too. What did you do? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Video games were part of the solution. So don't throw out that Xbox just yet. Video games? How in the world could video games help? All they do is waste his time. He almost seems addicted. Well, there's a couple of things. You can actually get a few different benefits if you use them right. Like how? Sorry, Carla, but that seems ridiculous. Well, first, there's some research that shows that certain video games can help with visual attention. Like, first-person shooter games make you track multiple things at once, so it's like a workout for the brain. Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, they can build visual tracking skills. Problems in visual tracking can cause reading to be really hard. Letters can even seem to jump around. Then fatigue sets in. Sometimes headaches and focus goes out the window. Maybe that's why Jake gets so irritable when he does homework? Could be. And there's more. Like what? Well, there's also research that says some video games increase information processing speed. That certainly helps with reading and comprehension too. A kid's brain is doing a lot when they read, so you've got to help them build all the underlying skills. The cognitive micro skills. Those skills help reading. Interesting. So I just let him play all the video games he wants? He keeps asking for some game called Naughty Bear. Cute little stuffed animal thing I guess. Oh no. You gotta use some mom's strategy. Pick the right games, in the right amount, and come up with a plan. Ugh, sounds like work. Not really. It's easy. I put together a full plan. I spent a lot of time doing the research and figuring it out. It was totally worth it though. I can walk you through it if you want. Wow, that would be great. If I could help Jake out and let him have some fun too, that would be a win-win. We spend so much time just struggling through homework time. No problem. I'll give you the full plan. All my tested mom strategies. The first thing you want to do is watch this quick video. It'll give you a rundown of all the best video games and how they help. Armed with that knowledge, you'll be a lot better off. I really appreciate your help. No problem. Us moms have got to stick together. So let's watch this video and then after that, I'll give you my whole plan. Hey folks, did you know that there's research that shows that video games can actually improve reading skills? There's a couple different ways, so let's go over those and I'll give you some example games that fall into each category. First there's visual attention and visual tracking. Visual attention is the cognitive process of selectively focusing on certain stimuli and ignoring others. It can affect reading in numerous ways, including improving comprehension, recognizing patterns, and understanding the relationship between words and images. Visual attention can also help readers to quickly identify key points and ideas, as well as to remember what they have read. Visual tracking is the ability to visually follow a line of text from left to right, top to bottom, and vice versa. It affects reading by allowing readers to quickly and accurately move through a text. Good visual tracking skills enable readers to take in more information at once, which in turn allows them to comprehend and remember more of what they have read. Poor visual tracking can lead to difficulty in focusing on the text, as well as difficulty in understanding the material. Here are some games that may improve visual attention and visual tracking. 1. Fruit Ninja Fruit Ninja is a game in which players use their fingers or a device's stylus to slash through on-screen fruit that is thrown up by the game. The player must slash all the fruit before it falls off the screen. Fruit Ninja is a fun, fast-paced game that can be enjoyed by players of all ages. 2. Pac-Man Pac-Man is an arcade game released in 1980. 
The objective of the game is to control the Pac-Man as he navigates a maze while eating pellets, avoiding ghosts, and collecting power-ups. As Pac-Man moves around the maze, the ghosts, known as Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde, try to catch him and end the game. The player must navigate the maze collecting all of the pellets while avoiding the ghosts. If Pac-Man touches a ghost, he loses a life. The game ends when all of the pellets are eaten or all of Pac-Man's lives are lost. Pac-Man is a classic game that has been enjoyed by generations of gamers. 3. Space Invaders Space Invaders is a fixed-shooter arcade game released in 1978. The game is set in space and the player controls a spaceship at the bottom of the screen. The objective of the game is to shoot the alien invaders as they move downwards towards the player. The player can move their ship left and right and use their laser cannon to shoot the aliens. If the aliens reach the bottom of the screen, the game is over. 4. Pinball Pinball is a classic arcade game where players use flippers to control a metal ball. The objective of the game is to hit the ball onto various targets on the playfield to score points. The playfield is usually populated with bumpers, ramps, and other obstacles that the ball must navigate to reach the targets. As you hit the targets, lights will flash, and the score in the top corner of the machine will increase. Pinball machines also feature bonus rounds and special effects that can add to the player's score. Wow, so some games can improve visual attention. That's good to know. Yes, and there's more. They can also improve processing speed, and that is a big part of reading. Check it out. 5. Geometry Dash Geometry Dash is an action platformer game developed by Robtop Games. The game is set in a 3D world and the player controls a cube-shaped character. The objective of the game is to navigate through a series of levels by jumping and dodging obstacles. The levels are filled with obstacles such as spikes, moving blocks, and rotating platforms. As the player progresses through the levels, the difficulty increases and the obstacles become more challenging. Geometry Dash is a fast-paced game that requires quick reflexes and strategy to complete the levels. 6. Super Hexagon Super Hexagon is an arcade-style game developed by Terry Cavanaugh. The game is set in a minimalistic world and the player controls a small triangle. The objective of the game is to rotate the triangle and avoid obstacles that continually move inwards. As the player progresses through the levels, the obstacles move faster and require more precise timing and quick reflexes to avoid them. Super Hexagon is a challenging game that tests the player's reflexes and pattern recognition skills. 7. Ski Safari Ski Safari is an endless runner game developed by Defiant Development. The game is set in a wintry world and the player controls a skier. The objective of the game is to ski down a never-ending mountain while avoiding obstacles and collecting coins. As the player progresses, they can unlock new characters and items, such as snowmobiles and snowboards, to help them navigate the mountain. Ski Safari is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. 8. Jetpack Joyride Jetpack Joyride is an action game developed by Half Brick Studios. The game is set in a cartoon world and the player controls a character equipped with a jetpack. The objective of the game is to fly through a series of levels, dodging obstacles and collecting coins. As the player progresses, they can upgrade their jetpack and unlock new items, such as vehicles and gadgets, to help them navigate the levels. Jetpack Joyride is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. 9. Crossy Road Crossy Road is an arcade-style game developed by Hipster Whale. The game is set in a 3D world and the player controls a character. The objective of the game is to cross a series of roads, dodging obstacles and collecting coins. As the player progresses, they can unlock new characters and items to help them navigate the roads. Crossy Road is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. 10. Flow Free Flow Free is a puzzle game developed by Big Duck Games. The game is set in a grid-like board and the player controls colored circles. The objective of the game is to link all of the circles of the same color by drawing a line between them. As the player progresses, they must create paths that navigate the grid while avoiding obstacles and collecting coins. Flow Free is a challenging game that tests the player's strategy and problem-solving skills. Next is Information Processing Speed. Information Processing Speed is the rate at which a person can take in and process information. It affects reading by determining how quickly a reader can read, comprehend, and recall information. A person with good information processing speed is able to quickly take in and understand new information, while a person with poor information processing speed may have difficulty comprehending and recalling what they have read. Here are some games which may improve information processing speed. 1. Super Mario 64 
Super Mario 64 is a 3D platformer game developed by Nintendo. The game is set in the Mushroom Kingdom and the player controls Mario. The objective of the game is to navigate through various levels, defeating enemies and collecting power-ups. As the player progresses, they can collect stars which are used to open new levels and areas. Super Mario 64 is an iconic game that has been enjoyed by generations of gamers. It is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. 2. Call of Duty Call of Duty is a first-person shooter video game series developed by Infinity Ward and published by Activision. The games are set in various periods of history and the player controls a soldier. The objective of the game is to complete various missions while using military weapons to defeat enemies. The games feature realistic violence with blood and gore as well as realistic weapon sounds and damage effects. Call of Duty is a popular series of games that is known for its intense and realistic violence. Call of Duty is not suitable for all ages. The games in the series contain intense violence and realistic weapon sounds and damage effects, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated M4 Mature by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 17 and older. 3. Halo Halo is a first-person shooter video game series developed by Bungie and published by Microsoft. The games are set in a sci-fi universe and the player controls a super soldier known as the Master Chief. The objective of the game is to complete various missions while using advanced weapons to defeat aliens. The games feature intense action and battles, as well as realistic weapon sounds and damage effects. Halo is a popular series of games that is known for its intense and exciting action. Halo is not suitable for all ages. The games in the series contain intense violence and realistic weapon sounds and damage effects, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated M4 Mature by the ESRB and it is recommended for players aged 17 and older. 4. Portal Portal is a puzzle platform game developed by Valve Corporation. The game is set in a scientific facility and the player controls a character equipped with a portal gun. The objective of the game is to complete a series of puzzles by using the portal gun to create portals in order to reach the exit. As the player progresses, they must use their wits to solve increasingly difficult puzzles. Portal is a unique and challenging game that tests the player's problem-solving skills and logic. Portal is suitable for all ages. The game does not contain any explicit violence or mature content, making it suitable for all players. The game is rated E for everyone by the ESRB, and can be enjoyed by players of all ages. 5. The Legend of Zelda The Legend of Zelda is an action-adventure game series developed by Nintendo. The games are set in a fantasy world and the player controls a character known as Link. The objective of the game is to explore various dungeons and locations, defeating enemies and solving puzzles. As the player progresses, they must use their wits and weapons to defeat various monsters and bosses. The Legend of Zelda is a beloved franchise that is known for its engaging story and exciting action. The Legend of Zelda is suitable for all ages. The games in the series do not contain any explicit violence or mature content, making them suitable for all players. The game is rated E for everyone by the ESRB and can be enjoyed by players of all ages. Also, some games have a lot of fast on-screen text. Oh, I bet that helps. For sure. 6. Tetris Tetris is a classic puzzle game developed by Alexei Pajitnov. The game is set on a two-dimensional board and the player controls various shaped blocks. The objective of the game is to rotate and move the blocks to form complete lines on the board. As the player progresses, the blocks fall faster and the game becomes increasingly difficult. Tetris is a classic game that has been enjoyed by generations of gamers. It is a challenging and addictive game that tests the player's reflexes and spatial reasoning skills. 7. Rock Band Rock Band is a music video game developed by Harmonix Music Systems. The game is set in a virtual concert hall and the player controls various instruments. The objective of the game is to play along with a song by hitting the correct notes as they appear on the screen. As the player progresses, they can unlock new songs and instruments to use in the game. Rock Band is an exciting and immersive game that tests the player's rhythm and music skills. 8. World of Warcraft World of Warcraft is an online role-playing game developed by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is set in the fantasy world of Azeroth and the player controls a character. The objective of the game is to explore the world, complete quests, and defeat monsters. As the player progresses, they can upgrade their character, join guilds, and participate in massive battles with other players. World of Warcraft is an immersive and expansive game that tests the player's strategy and problem-solving skills. World of Warcraft is not suitable for all ages. 
The game contains some mature content, such as violence and suggestive themes, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated T14 by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 13 and older. 9. Plants vs. Zombies Plants vs. Zombies is a tower defense game developed by PopCap Games. The game is set in a cartoon world and the player controls various plants. The objective of the game is to protect the player's house from waves of zombie invaders. As the player progresses, they must use their plants to defend their house from the advancing zombies. Plants vs. Zombies is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's strategy and problem-solving skills. 10. Angry Birds Angry Birds is a puzzle game developed by Rovio Entertainment. The game is set in a cartoon world and the player controls various birds. The objective of the game is to launch the birds into structures containing pigs and destroy them. As the player progresses, they must use their birds to eliminate all of the pigs in each level. Angry Birds is a popular and challenging game that tests the player's logic and problem-solving skills. Then there are action games that flash on-screen text. Games that flash text on screen can help improve reading by increasing the speed at which a person takes in and processes information. This can help readers become more efficient as they learn to identify keywords and phrases quickly and accurately. Additionally, these games can help improve visual tracking skills as readers learn to quickly and accurately follow text from left to right and top to bottom. Finally, these games can help readers become more comfortable with reading which can lead to improved comprehension and retention. Games like 1. Overwatch Overwatch is a team-based first-person shooter game developed by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is set in a futuristic world and the player controls various characters. The objective of the game is to complete various objectives while using various weapons and abilities to defeat enemies. As the player progresses, they can join teams and participate in intense battles with other players. Overwatch is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's strategy and teamwork skills. Overwatch is not suitable for all ages. The game contains some mature content, such as violence and suggestive themes, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated T14 by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 13 and older. 2. Fortnite Fortnite is a battle royale game developed by Epic Games. The game is set in a cartoon world and the player controls a character. The objective of the game is to survive in a massive battle against other players while collecting resources and eliminating enemies. As the player progresses, they must scavenge for weapons and build structures to gain the upper hand in the battle. Fortnite is an intense and fast-paced game that tests the player's strategy and reflexes. Fortnite is not suitable for all ages. The game contains some mature content, such as violence and suggestive themes, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated T14 by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 13 and older. 3. Rocket League Rocket League is an action sports game developed by Cyanix. The game is set in a futuristic stadium and the player controls a rocket-powered car. The objective of the game is to score goals by using the car to hit a giant soccer ball into the opposing team's goal. As the player progresses, they can compete in various game modes and unlock new cars and items. Rocket League is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. Rocket League is suitable for all ages. The game does not contain any explicit violence or mature content, making it suitable for all players. The game is rated E for everyone by the ESRB, and can be enjoyed by players of all ages. And some games have a lot of reading in the actual game. Tricky you are. 4. Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. is a fighting game series developed by Nintendo. The games are set in a cartoon world and the player controls various characters. The objective of the game is to knock the opposing character off the stage while using various weapons and items. As the player progresses, they can unlock new characters and stages to battle in. Super Smash Bros. is an intense and exciting game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. Super Smash Bros. is suitable for all ages. The games in the series do not contain any explicit violence or mature content, making them suitable for all players. The game is rated E10 plus for everyone 10 plus by the ESRB, and can be enjoyed by players of all ages. 5. League of Legends League of Legends is a multiplayer online battle arena game developed by Riot Games. The game is set in a fantasy world and the player controls various characters. The objective of the game is to defeat the enemy team by using various weapons, items, and abilities. 
As the player progresses, they can join teams and participate in intense battles with other players. League of Legends is an exciting and fast-paced game that tests the player's strategy and teamwork skills. League of Legends is not suitable for all ages. The game contains some mature content, such as violence and suggestive themes, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated T14 by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 13 and older. 6. Counter-Strike Counter-Strike is a first-person shooter game developed by Valve Corporation. The game is set in a realistic environment and the player controls a character. The objective of the game is to complete various objectives while using various weapons and strategies to defeat enemies. As the player progresses, they can join teams and compete in intense battles with other players. Counter-Strike is an intense and fast-paced game that tests the player's strategy and reflexes. Counter-Strike is not suitable for all ages. The game contains some mature content, such as violence and suggestive themes, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated M4 Mature by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 17 and older. 7. Tekken Tekken is a fighting game series developed by Namco. The games are set in a 3D environment and the player controls various characters. The objective of the game is to defeat the opposing character by using various moves and combos. As the player progresses, they can unlock new characters and stages to battle in. Tekken is an intense and exciting game that tests the player's reflexes and strategy. Tekken is not suitable for all ages. The games in the series contain violence and suggestive themes, which may be too intense for younger players. The game is rated T14 by the ESRB, and it is recommended for players aged 13 and older. 8. Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat is a fighting video game series created by Ed Boon and John Tobias. It has become one of the most successful and popular fighting game franchises of all time. The series is known for its high level of violence, including its signature fatalities finishing moves. Players select characters from a roster of unique fighters and battle against each other in one-on-one -on -one or tag team matches. The objective is to defeat the opponent by depleting their life bar. In addition to regular fights, players can participate in several minigames and other modes, such as Test Your Might, Test Your Sight, and Test Your Strike. Mortal Kombat is not suitable for all ages. The series is known for its high level of violence and contains some very graphic content that may be inappropriate for young children. Parents should be aware of the content before allowing children to play the game. Then, of course, there are games that have reading as a part of the gameplay. Some examples are 1. Word games such as Scrabble and Bookworm. Finally, there are games actually designed to help with reading. Oh, if I can get Jake to do those, that would be great. They are fun. I'm sure you can. 2. Text-based adventure games such as Zork and the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 3. Visual novels such as Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney and Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. 4. Role-playing games such as Final Fantasy and The Elder Scrolls. 5. Strategy games such as Civilization and Total War. 6. Puzzle games such as Tetris and Lumens. And last but not least are video games that are actually designed to improve vocabulary, fluency, and reading comprehension. Games like 1. Jumpstart Adventures 3rd Grade 2. Reader Rabbit 3. Spell Tower 4. Word Drop 5. Word Spree 6. Word Cookies 7. Math Blaster 8. Dragon Box 9. Brain Pop Jr. 10. Reading Eggs Links to all of these games and the research behind them are in the description. Wow! I had no clue. I was just forcing Jake to study more. And the more I did, the angrier he got. Glad I didn't trash that PlayStation. Right. You can use it as a mom tool. So what's that plan of yours? Got your notepad ready? Yeah. Ready to go. Let's have it. Okay. First, keep that information I already gave you, a secret. You don't want Jake using it against you. Smart. Got it. Okay, the first step is to know where you are at. Assess Jake's reading speed. I'll give you a link to an easy test you can use. Noted. Next, assess reading comprehension. I'll give you a link for that too. Yeah, comprehension is a big problem for Jake. Yes, it's important to know where you're at, because the most important part of improvement is noticing the small improvements. Noticing the little things is the secret. It's motivating and keeps things moving along. If you don't, all you see are the problems. That gets you going nowhere. Yeah, that makes sense. I get so frustrated, 
all I can see is how far behind he is. I can see that I am focusing on the wrong things. Yep. You get what you focus on. Well all Jake gets is more bad grades. I'm going to have to change my focus. And his. This plan will do both. Okay, I'm in. Tell me more. The next thing I did was sign up for the learning success system. It's a program that builds up all those fundamental skills needed for reading and all learning. It's super easy. They send you an email every day with a quick lesson in it. Takes about 15 minutes a day. I'll get you that link too. 15 minutes? I can do that. Yep, totally worth it. Makes everything easier. I'm in too easy. This has been so hard. Yeah, I know. I was there too. Okay, so next thing is to set a reading goal. How much do you think Jake should read each week? Start small. Make it easy and you'll increase the goal as you go along. You just don't want to overwhelm him. He's already frustrated. Yeah, that's all we seem to feel is overwhelm and frustration. Yeah, I get it. The next thing is you want a chart. You can use a calendar or make a chart. Just make something that is visual and you can put it somewhere where everybody sees it. Got it. I know just where it's going. Right where the snacks are. Great. Next set up a reward system. Let him earn his video game time. But, here's the catch. Separate the video games into categories. Maybe action games, role-playing games with text, and educational games. Then he earns a little of each when he reaches his daily goal. He can go use it or he can save it up. Totally up to him. Earning game time. Now, that's an idea. Yes, earning game time has a lot of benefits. You never have to nag him about playing too much. You just say, sorry dude, you haven't earned it yet. Hmm. Yeah, seems like I always have to nag. I'm liking this. Yes, it always teaches him the concept of earning the things he wants. That's important. Got it. You've got me thinking about a lot. Next set up bonus rewards. Like if he meets his goal every day for a week he gets an extra 30 minutes of playtime. Something like that. So cool. Make sure to constantly communicate with him about the plan. And if you phrase it in a way that develops a growth mindset, that's even better. What's a growth mindset? That's when you always phrase your compliments in a way that they are focused on effort. So, for example, instead of saying, Jake, you're getting so much better at reading, you're so smart, say something like, Jake you are getting so much better at reading, you have worked so hard, I'm proud of you. That works because effort is always under his control. Smart is not. It not only motivates but it also teaches him that he can do anything if he just works hard. Carla, you are a super mom. You are so smart. No, I worked at it. Remember. Growth mindset. Oh that's right. I'll practice that. Great. And if you think Jake might have some underlying learning struggles, like dyslexia, dyscalculia, or dysgraphia, check out this video too. I don't even know what those words mean. But I'll work on my plan and watch that video too. Watch out. You're going to be a super mom too. I sure hope so. You already are. You just don't know it yet.